G'day guys, welcome back. Sorry that's a mess, but I just finished that other pour with the teal and bright green. And I'm gonna go again with this other little tile and use the rose gold that didn't really show up in that painting. I was thinking, what can I use with the rose gold? And I have no idea if this is going to work or not, but I've picked some purple matter, that same light green that I had in the previous one, the black, the rose gold. What do you think? I might throw the green, uh, the grey in as well this time, just to see how that looks. So those are the colours. And this will be for the mahogany or cherry coloured box. I can't show it at the moment because I've got, oh, yeah, dirty hands. So let's just get straight into it. And uh, I can hopefully show you at the end of the video how it looks next to the, the cherry coloured timber box. If it works. Whoa, that was a bit too much paint, Julie. Little puddle in the middle there. Um, now, because I want the purple matter to show up, that's going to be my first colour down. And I think the lime. What does lime and green do together? We're about to find out. Oh, lime and green. Lime and purple. <laughs> we are about to find out. Okay. Um, and then the... Rose, gold, and then some grey. Those two might be too similar in colour, I'm not sure. And then some more black, and a little bit of green, and finish off with the purple matter over the top, eh? Hey? Nice and dark against my white cell activator. Cell activators, two parts Floetrol to one part Amsterdam Titanium White. And let's go for this. Let's see what happens. Got some green poking through there. I just hope purple and green don't make brown, do they? I can't remember. All right, let's spin this before it gets too big in the center. Oh, it looks very dark again. What is it with me and doing these dark paintings lately? A oh, little bit of rose there. Okay, well, the, the purple and the, the green look nice, but it's just too dark. One layer of black maybe. As I spin, more of the colour will disperse and, and the, the lighter colours will come up from underneath it. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all for the first try. I do need some more of the, the rose gold. That purple mat is really pretty under there, isn't it? That is very pretty, but it's, oh, it's got too much black on it. My little turntable keeps lifting up. All right, I'll show it to you and then I'll scrape it. Pretty, but too dark. Um, I'll still do two layers of black, but maybe I'll do my layers a little bit smaller, smaller puddles of black. It's just takes over, doesn't it? I mean, it's nice to have a little black for the contrast, but not so much that um, it takes over. All right, let's go again. I'm going to run out of paint soon. Always end up doing them two or three times because, you know, when I try a new colour scheme, because I'm not sure what it's going to do. So it usually takes me a, a couple of times before I can get one right. Okay, purple matter first. Oh, no, don't run out. I need you. Lime. Now, a little bit of black. 
just a little puddle like that. Uh, maybe I'll do a puddle with this instead. Let's try a lot of that this time. <clears throat> um, let's scrap the grey. The grey doesn't even come to the party at all. Um, a little bit more green. And I will do black, but just a tiny little, little drizzle like so. And more purple matter. Hey, how's that? Actually, it's this that's not coming through. Let's do a bit more of that rose gold. Might be a little bit thin. The metallics seem to mix differently to the other paints. They're really thick, so I tend to use less of them. But um, yeah, they, they and then I sort of overcompensate and I add more polyacrylic to it to make it thinner because it still feels really thick. Put a lot of white in there. Probably put a little bit too much cell activator in that. All right, let's spin. Big spin to begin with. See what's going to happen here. Still a lot of white in the middle there. Yeah, I don't like that. I actually preferred the first one. Can I get my first one back, please? Let's go the other way. It's probably because I've got so much white in the middle there that I don't like it. Hmm. No, maybe it's just the, the rose gold and the purple matter don't really go together very well. What do you think? Like that purple matter, that's much more of a match to the, the box. I might take the rose gold out and put in burgundy. Let's try it with some burgundy. This one looks like a Candy apple. All right, say bye bye. Hopefully, I've got enough paint to do one more. It's still a pretty painting, it really is, but it's not quite what I'm after. So, we'll just go again. Hoping I've got enough purple matter left. I'm getting to the end of my pillow paint in there too. It's almost empty that one. Okay. Purple matter. And then the green. And then the black, a bit more this time. Um, and then the burgundy. Let's see what the grey does, hey? Anything? A little bit more black. I do like the darker ones, you know, the ones with more contrast. I, I really do. And some more purple matter for luck. And a little, little splash of green in there as well. Okay. Right, this is going to be it. Because I haven't got much paint left. Oh, I didn't blow that very well. Very thin over there. Ugh. Didn't blow it well at all, that one. And I'm all off center. Or maybe I'm rushing. Let's spin this baby. See that there? Where I didn't blow the white properly over? I haven't got any lacing there. So there's the gray. What do we think of the gray?
it would have been really nice if I'd had lacing down there over that burgundy. But I don't. All right. Oh, I should have enough for one more. And I'll, I'll try and do the blow better. Because this is really pretty. I actually quite like the grey in there. It's just that bottom area there. That bottom bit there has got no lacing because I didn't blow the white over it. That's pretty up there though. Okay, let's scrape him. Go again. What do you think of these colours? I'll show you if you could answer me. Oh well. Is it better with the burgundy instead of the rose gold? Oh, I don't know that I've got enough paint in here. Oh, don't do that. Horrible noise. Oh, look, you're getting all air bubbles in there now. I'm going to have to get my big tin. Hang on. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's my big tin. I have got a pouring nozzle on it, so it makes it a little bit easier. But, see, now I've got bubbles in it. It's probably not a good idea to... Get to the end of your squeeze bottle. Because it just gets bubbles in it. Pour a bit in the middle. It's just not so easy to pour out of a big tin. That's why I, I decant from the big tin into my squeeze bottle. Right, so those colours before were really nice. Um, I just had to do a better blow, so let's try again. Probably getting tired. I've done a... Oh, God, how many have I done now? A few. So I did a pour just before this one. And I think that one was three or four pours. And now this one... Okay, um, let's do the grey next. Yeah, it's a bit thinner by the feels of it. It really does feel thinner. I'm going to do blobs, let's see what happens. And, except for now, because <laughs> then I'll start doing this again. So I want a little bit of that other colour to come through. Oops, don't want too much of the green to come through more purple matter okay and yep let's see how that goes all right now i need to do better with my blow this time not such a big blob because then i can't move it all if it's too big better. I missed a tiny bit there on the side. I wonder if I can use my little guy. No, I don't want to ruin it. I'll just leave it like that. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's too pink. Oh. See that big white, the big white blob there on the side because I didn't blow that very well. don't know whether that'll help or not. It might be too far gone. It's really red. Anyway, let's see what happens once it's finished its little spin. I think I preferred that one a couple back that was a bit too black. That was that area that I did that extra bit of blow onto it. No, there's a truck in my driveway. It's heard its exhaust brakes. <laughs> Spin it again because I need to get some of this off the corner here. I'll go the other way. Getting some timber delivered so I can do, or get the builder to come back and finish the, the staircase off that lower deck off my granny flat that we've done. 
Um, I don't know, guys. I'm in two minds about this one. Hmm. Don't know. A little bit of a wobble off there that I don't like. Get that off. Maybe I can keep it. Put the photo up on my Facebook group and see what people think of it. It's just that it's so it's so different. Um, yeah, I don't know. Mm, I wish I could pick up my box, but I can't. Oh, I'll pick it up with tissues. That way I don't get paint all over it. I'll do that. There we go. I'll pick it up in tissues. So that's the box. Does the colour match? Or is it too similar? I just don't know. Mm. Unsure. I guess if you're unsure, then it's not right, eh? Hey? Oh, I've got paint on the box after all. Okay, um, I'll bring you in for a close-up. And uh, then you can see what you think. Actually, I'm going to zoom you in for a close-up. Because I need to go and settle those dogs. Looks like a murder scene. All that red. I don't know. I just don't know about this one, you guys. It doesn't look as dark through my screen. It looks more like an orangey red, but it is quite a dark berry red. I don't know if that makes any difference at all. So anyway, there it is. Um, yeah, I don't know if I like it or not. I'll leave it. Take a photo of it. I'll put the photo up on the Facebook group and get some feedback. Only because it's so different. Like it's kind of one of those things, it's a love-hate thing. You know, it's kind of so ugly that it's pretty. <laughs> uh, I don't know. All right, I'll have a think about it. Um, you let me know what you think in the comments anyway. Uh, I can always pour over it or peel it off when it's dry. So let me know what you think, if you like it or you hate it. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you real soon for the next one. Bye for now.